Hello guys, and welcome back to another cold episode. On today's episode, the festivals are just around the corner. Probably the day of this dropping, uh, you'll be able to play at least the first festival. And I just wanted to go over them because there are some things that are noteworthy, um, specifically with the King of the Island uh, event and, and stuff like that. Uh, so I just wanted to go over these more in depth. Um, real quick here. Uh, notably, Kage to, uh, Kage to Kage is available um, for this one, as well as the Chimera Rafflesia um, thing, as well on the Fusion Z one, which I don't know why it's Chimera Rafflesia, but alas, here we are. However, uh, notably, the each event is only going to be around for about 10 to 12 days. Uh, this one's around for 12. The other one is around for only 10. Um, so do keep that in mind. Uh, they're shorter than normal events. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. Um, I also wanted to go quickly over the loner decks and more importantly, the actual ban lists. So we're going to go and hop into a, uh, a deck building thing. And uh, I'm going to quickly show you the cards that are, uh, that are changed and or banned or limited. Uh, most notably with the Beast Beast Warrior, Winged Beast, uh, Reptile, and Insect. Um, so notable bans uh, or changes. Um, Miss Valley Apex Avian is banned. M-Pen is banned. And Eaglin are banned. Uh, all three of those are banned. Um, the uh, Ancient Warriors Masterful Sun Mo. Mo? Mu? Sun Mu? I think it's called Sun Mu. Uh... This card is limited to one, along with both Thoroughblade and uh, Whiptail are limited to one as well. Uh, and then Chalconine is also limited to one for Zodiac. Um, DD Crow is limited to one for balance reasons. Um, and then Nerval. Nerval is banned, along with Mary Melfi's. Kind of weird. Um, Karos is also limited to one. So uh, lots of different things to look out for. But I think you'll notice a notable exclusion. That being... There's only one insect that's banned here. That's right, Maxi is currently legal in this event. <sighs> oh, dear. Yep, there it is. They put all three copies in. So that's a notable exclusion that isn't banned for some reason, uh, or a notable inclusion that's not banned. So there's that. That's kind of a bit odd. Um, in terms of spells and traps, most of them are just things that should normally be banned. Um, uh, or like changed. Uh, so let's quickly go over those. Um, or not, not mostly, but like some of them. Uh, there's grass is banned. Um, right of Aram Seer is banned. Uh, Necro Valley, Zombie World, Double Edged Sword, uh, Monarch, uh, Domain of the Monarchs. Runic Fountain is banned. Um, where is it? Uh, Teak Boo, lots of floodgates and stuff like that. Uh, super polymerization because Garura, they decided not to ban. You could have you banned Garura. It doesn't really matter. Super Poly should be banned anyway. Like all of the pot cards, every single one of them is banned, which is cool. We like that. Um, but Maxi isn't. I don't. I don't. I don't know what's going on there. Um, that's fine. Uh, also, Black Feather Warland. Uh, on top of that, as well, um, the other the other black one card. Black Whirlwind is also banned. So there's that. Um, and then a whole bunch of like cards that decrease life points um, are also limited and a lot of stun stuff. End map. They really said you are not allowed to play flu. So uh, don't play flu. You're just, you're not allowed. You right there, you who is trying to play Flunder, you're not allowed. Um, so don't know why that's the case, but alas, here we are. A kind of funny ban list. I really. I am not excited for this event. It seems like it's going to be... Um, I don't even know what's going to be playable. And it's probably going to be something super boring. Uh, and uh, Maxi. And you, you can't you can't interact with Maxi. Uh, you just have to hope that you draw the cold by for it. Um, otherwise, you don't play the game. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm not too excited for this one. Uh, however, I do want to quickly go over the loner decks as well real quick. We have ourselves the Serpentine one, which is just an abomination. This is so bad. It's not even, like, okay, Reptiles are not great. But they do have one card that's really good for them, which is Snake Rain. Because it basically gives them just insane advantage. 
Why is there only one of this card in this deck? Also, a whole bunch of these other cards just don't work in the number... Like, it, this card is very important. You should have more of this card. Uh, Lamia is also very important. Why is there only one Iperio? Why are we playing the Ogdotics along with the Reptilians? And also Black Mamba? Like, no one plays this card because it's bad. Why are we playing the one random Alien Kid? This is a really terrible loner deck. It's probably the worst one. Uh, next up, we have ballpark insect stuff i don't know why this is called the essence of ninjutsu art of mosquito just makes no sense um that has to be some sort of translation gimmick that makes more sense in J japanese than it does in literally any other language so it just really doesn't make sense but ninja's shadow mosquito is here which is cool and great for like sprite decks but it's not great as like an, an entire build around it's not that good of card like, you just, you just don't DK with this. Um, and so because of that, instead of playing actual, like, good ballpark targets, we're playing basic insect. This is, again, a crime. But alas, here we are. And then we have an actual good one, uh, Fire Kings. This one's fairly decent. The triple Dark Hole, the double uh, Torrential Tribute. Um, you know, actually playing the correct amount of, like, Garunix and stuff like that with some fairly good extra deck. Uh, honestly, this is a good loner deck. It's not crazy, but it's good. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, honestly, I'm not too excited for this one, um, especially since the rewards are the same as always, which is you get to, to half of the total amount and you're done with gems and there's no point in doing it at all anymore. Let's move on to the Fusion XZ event, which is a little bit better in my opinion. And the reason for that, well, let's, let's actually start off with the ban list like we did last time. I was going to show the loner decks, which are actually fairly decent, um, but let's start with the uh, the new forbidden cards uh so a lot of these are pretty understandable protoss uh arts lord christia stuff like that that are just like i'm gonna prevent you from playing the game uh we also have the time lords that are on here which is good um fenris as well as unicorn are also limited to one which is good uh those are like the only two cashier cards that actually matter so hey limiting those is good um you can still play like rank seven stuff and throw these in here which is fine um yeah lots of just like special summon stuff uh Bissio lubellion is notably limited i don't know why but i guess um i guess that makes sense i would imagine for branded reasons uh shifter is banned which is great um a bunch of random rituals like zoa ultimateness sophia i don't know why sophia is on here like okay unicorn is on here as well as kaleidoscope so there's that at the very least but why? Why are we limiting Necroz? It's not like they're doing anything. But Makonko can go totally, just fully playable for free. No problems, no questions. You can play Makonko because it's new. Um, so, you know, only Ohime. Um, I swear, if this is going to be a Makonko event, I'm uh, I'm not going to play Master Duel for like a week. Anyway, the Thunder Dragon Colossus isn't banned. Don't know why, but alas, here we are. Uh, Albion is limited to one, which is very funny. Uh, lots of other just random hits. Um, oh, sorry. Let me let me make sure that I'm actually on the correct stuff. Uh, Xyz effects and fusions are the only ones that we want. Um, yeah. Uh, flu is also just unplayable. Again, Mpen and Eaglin both banned uh, for reasons. Uh, Patchocephalo should be banned just generally, so it's good good to see him on here. Um, uh, Diablosis is banned, Kikolos is banned, a lot of, like, burn cards are randomly banned, uh, that's basically it. Oh, and, uh, Ben K. Ben K is banned! No! That actually does really suck. Uh, I actually do enjoy just speedrunning events, because most of the time, the events are not fun, so, yeah, having, a uh, Ben K banned kind of makes me sad. Oh, well, uh... Notable spells and traps that are changed in their limitation. Uh, I think there isn't nearly as much. Grass, Rite of Aramisir, uh, the Deer Servant, notable exclusions. Uh, runic Fountain is also banned. Uh, they really just didn't want us to play Runics this time. Labyrinth is all banned. Um, yeah, all of the monsters are playable. None of the traps are. Both Big Welcome and Welcome are banned, so there's that. All of the floodgates are banned, um, but Red Reboot is totally available for reasons unknown. Ye yeah, lots of other stuff. Uh, they finally hit evenly matched, 
which is crazy. Uh, they never do this, so that's fantastic. Yeah, that's it. Nope, that's all I have to say. Uh, you love to see the evenly matched actually being banned. Lots of other floodgates and just burn cards and self-burn cards and stuff like that. Not really anything too important there. Let's actually talk about the rest of the loner decks, because the loner decks are uh, fun. We have uh, the Luna Lights, which, hey, we're playing three Tiger, three Collider Chick, three Emerald Bird, and three Yellow Martin, which is basically all that you need. Uh, we're only two Luna Light Fusion, only two Perfume, only, you know, we're playing two Serenade Dance and stuff like that. Kind of weird in terms of the overall deck list profile, but hey, it's at least better. It's okay. I, again, I don't know why we're not playing three of this. I don't know why we're not playing three of this. I don't know what the overall goal is with this deck, but here we are. Moving on. We have Luna Light, or not Luna Lights, uh, Lyralisk. Lyralisk is actually pretty good, and I do expect this to actually be pretty good in both events. Um, I think it's going to be less powerful in the Exe Fusion event, and is going to be much better in the King of the Island event, the uh, Winged Beast, Beast, Beast Warrior, etc. Uh, because Tri Brigade exists, even though Nerval is banned, I still think it's going to be better. Uh, but here, you know, it, it does stuff. Zeus isn't in this notably um and also again two bird call who is playing only two bird call why would you only play two what is the point of this also two barrel canary for reasons king of bo i guess makes sense just because it allows you to special summon a level one from your grave and then just exe into whatever you want so sure this at least kind of makes sense i'm not a fan of it but it's fine then moving to the last one we have pendulum I don't know what's going on here. I really don't. I'm very confused as to why we are playing this one. I guess it's because you can technically make Xyz and Fusions in the same deck. And so they wanted to do that. And that's what they did because, you know, Luna Lights, Lyralisks, and Odd Eyes all technically do that. But I don't know. I still am uncertain as to why we are playing pendulums because they hit a whole bunch of the other good like pendulum cards so yeah i'm i'm I, sure i guess i very confusing but all in all that's basically it for uh, both of these events coming up um again the the reward list is basically the same they're just two smaller events which is fine i guess i'm not a big fan of the smaller events i much prefer having something just longer that you know it, is actually good that's what i want i just want a good event just bring back the nr festival please konami i know that this is falling on deaf ears because i'm sure most of you who are watching are not a part of konami and therefore uh have no say in what actually gets done in terms of festivals but dear lanta please bring back the only festival that has been good since the beginning of the game which is the nr festival it's genuinely been the only one that has been of high quality genuinely period at all anyway that's going to be it for this episode i hope that you guys did indeed enjoy if you did like it's very much appreciated and if you want to check out more content like this as well as more Yu-Gi-Oh, then just be sure to subscribe anyway thank you guys so much for watching and remember to always stay frosty Bye bye shout out to the frost guard my members thank you guys so much for the support and i hope you enjoy the content